Okay, it was a long night on watch. Uh, slept out of the in the cockpit area. Monitor the emergency steering wrench on the steering. Keep our rudder from beating our hull. Uh, we were taking 12-foot waves at sunrise, breaking over the bow, coming in the forward hatch over the V-berth. Put on our life vest and emergency beacons and harness and went out on the bow under supervision from my mate and was able to close and secure that hatch and prevent more water from coming in. Uh, let me turn down the radio. Finally, it's calmed down to three to six foot seas. Ah, maybe down to three foot now. And I was able to crawl back into the steering gear area underneath the uh, helm. And the plan was to put the cables back on the quadrant, repair the steering stop, and motor on to harbor. Possibly put it on the hard, inspect the hull. I was going to dive the hull before I went underway. Made sure there was uh, no damage to the rudder. It wouldn't affect anything. But when I crawl back in the steerage compartment, uh, there's a pulley broken that turns my steering cables from my helm 90 degrees over to the redirect cables to the quadrant. So with a broken pulley, there is no repairs I can effect here on Anchorage. I've called Boat US. If you don't have Boat US, I highly recommend you get it. They'll have a tow boat here in two hours, and they're towing us uh, approximately four miles. Uh, we anchored four miles south of St. Joseph, uh, Michigan. Uh, I always try and choose my anchorages close to harbors in the event that I need assistance or anything else happens. A uh, wise choice again here. Uh, the storms that uh, passed above us up in the upper end of the lake last night where severe line of thunderstorms really stirred the lake up. Uh, predict wind was only calling for some very light winds. Gotta go.